Senator, always good to have you. Thanks very much for coming. Well, thank you, Neil. I love that introduction. <laughs> that, and I mean that with the highest foreign. respect. <laughs> I know you do. Thank uh, you. <laughs> you got your, your way on this, but you were arguing it was a bigger issue than just political, that, look, I mean, there, there, there aren't alternatives, I guess you were saying, to get most. So shutting it down wasn't a wise idea. Now, the president is still going to push that. Tomorrow, we understand he's going to spell it out. Uh, what happens here? Yeah, well, uh, obviously, uh, the president is going to stick uh, to the position he's in, which is that Gu uh, Guantanamo ought to be closed. And uh, I guess the basis of that is that it has become a symbol for uh, abuse that occurred there allegedly earlier on. Today, it's actually uh, as good a facility as you're going to find anywhere in the world for holding essentially prisoners of war. But the Senate vote today basically said that the money that the administration asked for for the shutdown of Guantanamo was just premature. People are getting nervous about where those prisoners of war are going to go from Guantanamo. Uh, they obviously don't want them just released in America, and uh, a lot of them don't want them in, in prisons in their home uh, cities or states. So uh, this is uh, this. This plan to close Guantanamo needs a plan to explain how it's going to be done or the money's not going to be appropriated by Congress. And it's a Democratic Congress, so it's all the more, do you think, embarrassing for the president? Well, uh, I, I don't know if I'd say embarrassing. It probably was disappointing. I, I think they're going to look back and just say maybe they're already doing it. That, you know, this is a supplemental appropriations bill to cover the time from now to the end of this fiscal year, September 30th. They're not going to be able to close Guantanamo, Guantanamo between now and then. So I think uh, they rushed ahead. They got, the, they got ahead of their headlights uh, on this one. And uh, what's got to come first is a plan to reassure the American people, one, that, that these prisoners of war who, who ought to still be prisoners of war, because if we let them out, they'll go back to trying to kill us, that they'll be held in jail, and two, that if they decide that they're going to release anybody, they're, they're simply not going to be released uh, into the streets or communities of America. Senator Lindsey Graham and I have put a bill in that re would require that uh, any prisoners that the government determines are no longer necessary, it's no longer necessary to hold them, that, that they get turned over to the Department of Homeland Security, and the Department of Homeland Security then returns them either to their native lands or to the places right. where they were captured, not just let go anywhere in the U.S. You know, uh, Senator, uh, tomorrow the president, as I said, is going to outline his uh, latest anti-terrorism views. On the same day, uh, your old colleague and friend Dick Cheney is going to be speaking <laughs> on anti-terrorism and keeping true to your tradition of zinging both parties. Uh, you had <laughs> sort of taken issue with uh, the vice president uh, last week, I believe, in, in saying that this president, President Obama, um, hasn't, I'm paraphrasing here, relaxed, uh, you know, the war on terror when it comes to Afghanistan, in fact, and his commitment there, he's doing more than the prior administration. Where, where do you stand on this issue? Because it's become a deep political divide right now. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of uh, respect for Dick Cheney. I agreed with some of the things he said. Uh, in the last few months, I disagreed with some others. What I particularly disagreed with, because uh, I don't like to see this happening, is the suggestion that America is less safe under President Obama. Our guard is up as it has been since 9-11. There are some specific steps President Obama has taken that actually I would think Dick Cheney would be happy about because they're consistent with uh, what's happened earlier. He, the President Obama specifically rejected the calls to immediately pull out of Iraq. We're on a schedule that's quite methodical and thoughtful. He's actually increased right. our forces in Afghanistan and here at home, though I disagree uh, with the President okay. and agree with Vice President Cheney that it was wrong to put those memos out. He's now said he won't release the pictures. He's going to uh, try these uh, prisoners of war in military commissions, not in federal court. Those are steps in the right direction. Uh, we're as safe as we can be in a world in which there are terrorists who want to kill us. Real quickly, then, I assume you're getting along with the Democrats. You don't need the food tasters now. Everything's kumbaya, <laughs> right? How, how do things stand? 
Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I mean, I, I feel <laughs> blessed to have. I feel blessed to have friends in both parties, and uh, hopefully it'll help me do a better job for my state and my country. But uh, off the air, I will sing right. a, a chorus of "Kumbaya" for you, Neil, <laughs> personally. All right, Senator Joe Lieberman, always a pleasure. Take Thank care. you very much. I hope you're a good Mine. singer, by Thank the way. Thank you. All right, Joe Lieberman. The RNC pushed to rename the Democratic Party that failed.